people it's your girl Frankie here and I just wanted to say happy new year yes we are going into a new year so if you survive this year congrats that's all I'm saying it's been really rough on everyone so you made it let's just hope this next year is better okay but anyways I just want to remind you to keep your energy up keep your vibration high keep your intentions good going into the new year do not go with any bad energy any baggage like I'm gonna need you to leave that in 2020 and move on for 21 okay so I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a quick update um this is like a really short video but I wanted to give you guys a quick update in regards to uh, my car which um yeah no auto center not even the Manuf not manufacturer but the dealership they do not have the key like the locks the set for my car so they said the manufacturer will not have I guess send them to them to like they on back order until like the 22nd of January so from that point on I have to basically get my car back because my rental time has expired so I'm going to have to turn in the rental car go get my car um, which only have my manual key um, to my car so I'm gonna have to like leave my window like cracked and it's gonna be a mess just for the simple fact is because I don't have my original keys I only have the spare key and it doesn't have the key fob on there so I can't get in my car like once I turn my car off it will lock on its own after like so many minutes so um, yeah so it's gonna be kind of rough so it's a possibility my car might get stolen again um, to be honest with you, just because, you know, I just, because I'm not able to really lock my car securely. So, yeah, and I already let the insurance people know because I don't want them to think it's no BS. So, they already know, it's already confirmed. Like, they just, nobody has the parts for my car. They're waiting on manufacturer and there's nothing we can do about it. So, if you're in a situation where there's nothing you can do about it, honey, don't stress about it. That's all I'm saying. Like, ain't nothing I can do about it, so why would I stress about it? Like, no. Um, everything happens for a reason, okay? So, um, I'm sure I'm going to have some updates for you guys on that. Um, also, I want to talk to you guys about the third semester of nursing school. So, I didn't want to bring in a new year really like talking about it that much like the the summary of third semester since it happened in 2020 um but basically third semester was hard okay i am very smart i get very good grades i get mostly a's on my tests i'm not gonna lie to you i do get good grades now the teacher that i had she had three tests with her three tests i did not do so great on her tests okay i was in the mid 80s or low 80s on her test everybody else test I was literally like 98s 100s like it was nothing but her test like like I said she's tricky so if you have a teacher like that just push through and do the best <laughs> that you can you can't win them all that's all I'm gonna say um, but like I said that overall score at the end you just want it to be over the um, amount you know the score that you need in order to go to the next semester okay so in third semester we talked about cancer we talked about the blood and, and like anemias and things like that um, we talked about the liver and the gallbladder and the pancreas we also went over GI uh, we went over the immune system like HIV and other autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus we also went over I'm trying to like think because I don't have like it right in front of me because I'm gonna do a more detailed video um coming up for that but I just want to kind of give you guys the summary of what we went over um yeah so we went over that we did like I said GI we did upper lower we did pediatrics GI we did immunity um it's something else I feel like I'm missing with her but I'm not sure like HIV yeah I'm like really thinking about it because it's bothering me now but <laughs> I probably said it all and then of course we did mental health so 
um oh we did endocrine bam okay i was like wait a minute okay yes we did endocrine as well which is like um uh like graves disease and um addison's disease cushing's disease like we did that and then of course we did mental health and that was pretty much it for third semester when it comes to that with third semester there's a lot of information for third semester i feel like with the bridge program it was like easy and the thing i think the reason it was so easy because it was more like a recap of what i learned in lpn school and all of that like it was just pretty much a recap and then a couple new stuff um but other than that it was not like challenging it wasn't hard to me i finished the bridge semester with an a um this semester i finished with a high b i was close to an a so i'm like dang i was like four points away from an a but i didn't get an a this semester and i'm like okay whatever um because this teacher was ridiculous and now she is going to be like the head of something like the program or something i don't know why the horrible teachers always get to be like the lead roles but yeah so her position is changing soon for the next semester so i feel sorry for you guys i love you guys but i feel sorry for you guys um because yeah it's about to is it's probably gonna be real she just really don't care like she don't care if you pass or fail like she just don't care and if you go to my school if you go to any community colleges in st louis um, if you go to mines particularly then you will know what i'm talking about and i'm sure you're going to make a comment under this video to confirm what i'm talking about so hopefully she don't teach you guys for third semester um because <laughs> trust me you don't want her but um, if she do then i'm telling you right now just be ready you can know your stuff but the way she worries stuff is you may just get it wrong so just be aware of that but anyways, yes, yeah, so that was kind of like a summary of third semester. I feel like third semester went by fairly quickly. We did clinicals, but we could not complete clinicals. Like we completed it, but we did like the last couple weeks, like an online simulator type of thing for clinical because the virus had got so out of control and the hospitals had started getting more patients and they really did not want us in third semester to be exposed to those patients. So our floor ended up turning into like COVID floor. I'm not sure I can say that on YouTube, you know, but it turned into the virus floor. So, um, yeah, we was not able to complete uh, clinicals. So we just did like some simulators online for the last uh, couple weeks. And to me, that was a lot easier. I liked it that better. I'm an introvert, so clinicals are not my favorite i do it and i push through it and i'm friendly and i'm nice but i really don't like clinicals i'm not even gonna lie to you guys it's not my favorite thing of nursing school um is doing clinical i think it's great for experience but sometimes it can be uh emotionally overwhelming considering i don't like like i pick up on people energies a lot and sometimes it's just too much and you know it's just it's just too much you know so it drains me so they're draining i'm draining and i don't like that you know and when you're in a hospital you got so many emotions you got so much going on in a hospital with different people's um personal lives and you know of course the patients they're going through something traumatic and it's just so many emotions and i just honey it's overwhelming sometimes you know like when you just socially drained that's how i feel in clinicals after so long i just feel socially drained and you know that's just what it is but you have to complete clinicals in order to pass the program so yeah so that was kind of like a quick overview of it and you know of course you guys know how to final and all that stuff went and i will get a video up on how i organize for the final um but one tip i will say which i already said in the last video but another tip that i will say is study the content for the whole semester not just for that test because i think i messed up on that um in regards to the lady that's not so great like that's really not nice and she gives a really hard test because she used to write for nclex 
so she makes it really really hard and she even said it she's like oh i make it unnecessarily hard because you might as well get used to it even though nclex is not going to be that hard but i'm preparing you like i'm just like what girl who she was doing the most but with her content i was kind of just learning it because she was the first teacher to go so i was really learning it just for like those tests not saying i didn't remember a lot but i didn't really programming in my mind for the whole semester which i should have done but i had a lot of stuff going on but yeah so i'm just telling you right now study for the whole semester actually just study for your study for nclex like you're studying for nclex study for that um and not just for like the unit exams because honey when it comes to that final exam and you got to go back and look through all that stuff you're gonna be like oh there's too much studying like ain't nobody trying to study this hard like who trying to study this hard at the end that's why i said try to do good through the whole semester so um when you get to that final like if you miss 50 percent of that test and you got a good high score you probably will not fail just saying you can probably get a really low score on your final and still pass the semester like because I'm telling you, at the end, you are completely drained. It's just another ball game. You are tired. You're fed up. You're just sick of it. Like, I'm just being honest. But, yeah. So, we'll talk about all of that in another video um, on studying for finals and great little tips that I have for you guys. But, other than that, that's really it. I just wanted to give, like, this quick update. I want you guys to keep your energy high. Keep your vibrations high. Just, just keep it high. Like, don't even stress about things you can't control. Like, enjoy your life is what I'm saying. Like, enjoy. Um, because we have lost so many young people this year. It's ridiculous. Like, people that I've known or people that I went to school with or people that are friends of, like, my friends that I probably didn't know personally. But... It's just been a lot of RIPs um, on my Facebook and it's just it's just so much and it's so draining and it's like you should just appreciate what you have and appreciate where you are in life. And yeah, so I just want to end the year off with that. Um, I love you guys. I would definitely be posting some more videos for you guys um, because, you know, I really don't have plans tonight. I'm probably just going to kind of chill. I'm off tonight, so I'm probably just going to chill um, with the kids. And, you know, I'm trying to debate if I want to drink some wine or not because I'm on this raw vegan diet, which I want to talk to you guys about because I'm trying to cleanse my body because I, you would think during nursing school you would eat trashy. But actually, I did pretty good during nursing school, even with the high stress situations that was going on. But after I got done with nursing school, um, yeah, I just started eating a lot of like chips and fried food. Like I would go days without actually eating a real meal. I would just eat like chips and stuff throughout the day. I even, um, started drinking a little Mountain Dew uh, and you guys know I'm vegan. So I didn't eat like meat or any, well, no, I did. I ate a little bit of seafood for our friends miss and I actually was sick. Like it gave me a headache. It didn't make me sick, but I did get a headache because I don't eat meat. Um, but yeah other than that i was fine but my body like i just been eating not so great choices and not eating full meals so eventually my body was like hey sis red flag i'm gonna need you to do something different because i felt drained all the time i just wanted to sleep like i just felt bad like no energy just you know i used to feel just groggy just you know my bowel movements tmi was not they were not great like you could just tell digestively and just overall inside my body was like hey you need to do something different so i'm doing this cleanse for two weeks i'm just doing raw vegan um foods really if you look at it like a lifestyle which i'll get some more like uh vegan things up and food things up and stuff for you guys i know people are really interested in that and i'm pretty simple so i try to keep it simple nobody want to do all that um it's just stuff they be doing in some of these videos they be doing too many steps and i'll be like mm -mm, i ain't got all that so i'm gonna try to get some things up for you guys but you know just kind of 
cleansing my body the natural way you can get pills and stuff they have pills and stuff but if you're not eating right and you're doing the peel cleanse then it really doesn't make a difference but i'm just doing raw and raw basically is just not like cooked foods like you just like fruits and vegetables and you're not like sauteing them you're not cooking them you're kind of just eating them as is or making salads and it's so many things you can make on a raw uh vegan you know diet and which i didn't know but i looked it up on youtube and looked at other people kind of recipes and things like they make and i've been doing some things and it's been actually very delicious and the hardest part is going to be the first couple days because your body is going to be like what is you doing um but once you get past the first couple days it's easy your body is like oh okay this is what we doing and you would definitely see a change like immediately so i just been doing that um for a couple days now so I'm doing it for two weeks, but I'll get another video on that as well. But that's just a quick update. That's all this is, y'all. So, um, yeah, that's all I want to talk to you guys about. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, share, like, um, and, of course, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.